In the spirit of Bill and Vive Gore, the Center for Innovative Cultures was established with the belief that an organization's culture can be a source of strategic competitive advantage. The Center's founder, Michael Pakanowski, an expert in organizational culture, considers the potential of the Center for Westminster. How do we make this sustainable so that future students uh, at Westminster get the experience and an understanding of what uh, Bill and Vive brought to thinking about organizations. It was clear that uh, the Center for Innovative Cultures was going to be a big tent. Right from day one, it isn't just about core, it's about core-like uh, ways of managing other forms of, of uh, self-organized network structures, and we all want to learn from each other. What we also want to do is build, which is related to that, build a unique and distinctive competency in understanding richly, robustly, the deep dynamics of these high-performing organizational cultures so that we're infusing it into the classroom but we're also taking it practically to organizations. Varied organizations are engaging in the center's activities. Across different kinds of businesses from academic to for-profit to not-for-profits like mine, we all have to, to deal with the challenges of change and the challenges of culture. Maybe in higher ed this would be an opportunity to take those best practices, the core principles, and integrate them within the college and that would be amazing. The center hosts events such as guest lectures and the Millennial Corporate Dialogue. We tried to get equal numbers of millennials with corporate folks so we could have a lunch where people would be at tables in equal numbers and talk to each other. There were some really interesting shifts in perceptions as a result of the conversation. At the Tools and Practices Workshop, attendees learn from those with real-world experience in high-performing organizations. Here is a tool or a practice that we know about intimately from our organization and we know that this thing works and we can package it for you and you should be able to take it and do something with it in your organization on Monday morning. The second session on stewarding culture um, was kind of a broader view on understanding and then shaping culture and that's really why we're why we came to this workshop today. So. so how can we use very practical, easy to acquire tools to help make our information sharing more transparent? Center events are designed to stimulate interaction, conversation, and collaboration. It's great to be around people that dealing with similar issues in completely different industries and hearing different perspectives on some of the things that we see every day. The interaction is great. People are coming up with really good ideas. We just did an interactive activity and had three teams and it was great to feel the energy in the room and hear people sparking ideas off of each other. Summer conferences in the U.S. and Europe explore key ideas, both conceptual and practical, related to high-performing organizational cultures. The Collaborative Culture Summit in Park City in the fall encompasses a culture journey for organizational leadership. You see things emerging here that haven't got to Europe yet. And so being able to hook up with uh, you know, new ideas and starting developing those on the other side of the Atlantic, of course, is invaluable. The center provides a forum for people who are focused on culture. I find there is this growing um, swell of support and um, ideology around the fact that yes, absolutely within business, culture is important and it is being talked about much more than I was aware of. And I want to be a part of that conversation because I'm passionate about it, I believe in it. I think the center is focused on creating a workplace where people know how to deal with that combination of speed and ambiguity. So I think every organization will do better than they've ever done in the past just because they know how to do, operate or build the culture that, that helps them in this environment. For people to be able to say, wow, look, look at the Center for Innovation Cultures at Westminster College. Isn't that a neat thing? Isn't that useful for the college, for Salt Lake, for Utah? The Center for Innovative Cultures helping organizations thrive by unleashing the talent, passion, and potential of people at work.